Let's take a gander here at our Fantasy Player of the Week presented by Supercuts. This week, we're going to give it to Ja Morant, who despite the Game 1 loss to Golden State, leading the Sunday slate with just under 69 DraftKings fantasy points. Nice. Morant just missing out on a triple-double, 34 points, 10 apples, 9 rebounds, also racked up 3 steals. Yes, he missed the final shot of the game and disappointed his dad, but we don't care about that for fantasy purposes, obviously. Hey, good morning to our NBA panel. DraftKings contributor Nick Fryer, RotoWire's Nick Whalen. Fryer, who's worth paying up for tonight? Give us someone who could put up John Morant type fantasy numbers, please. Yeah, I think you were spot on with James Harden, him getting that Trey Young treatment. I really don't have much faith in him going into this series in general, even if Embiid is out there. My favorite guy tonight, as much as Luka could go off, I think is Chris Paul at 9.9K going up against the Mavericks. Uh, sure, they're probably going to come out with a similar output, and I understand that Luka has a higher ceiling, but I think the consistency with Paul's game, what he did throughout the course of last series, and kind of the question marks with Devin Booker, too, as much as he's good to go, his hamstring, you know, that can be a finicky thing. We're seeing it in the Celtics series as well with Jalen Brown. Um, but with Paul, scored 50-plus DK fantasy points in four out of the, the six games in the last round. Um, he had that one clunker. That was pretty much it. So you know what you're getting with him on a nightly basis, whether Booker's in or out. He's going to put up some semblance of fantasy production at a high level. Um, and with Luca, I just think you can just save a lot more by going with Paul and still get that similar outcome.